Maybe you want to use resource space to use it for particular projects. So perhaps you're working on a funding proposal or you're doing some research on your own or with a group of people that you want to share your research with. Now we can do that on resource space. So we've created particular projects and, and we will create them as we go along and you start working on projects. And that means you can work with a team on a particular set of resources. So for example, I'm a part of project number two and I can see the resources here that are part of project number two. I might not be part of, a part of project number one, um, so I can't see them, or part of project number three. Now, if you are part of multiple projects, do let us know and we can add you to the multiple projects so that you have access to the, the resources that you need to have access to. So if you want to upload something that's only available to the people in your group, so you want it to be in this folder, project number two, it is important that you select the project when you upload a document. So this is the, the metadata that you have seen before that you might recognize. And then this is what's important. So this is where you would have to enter your project. So if I choose project number two, um, work package number two, project number two, or make sure the names match up with the projects that you're actually working on, then that makes sure that only the people who are in your team, so those people who are part of project number two, can see the document. If you want the document to be accessible to everyone, you click general. But if you want it to be part of your project and end up in this folder, then you select work package number two, whichever name corresponds to your project. And that is the easy way. It means that only people who are part of your project team can see this. So you can use it to share notes, anything that's not finished, anything you're working on and you want other people to see. And you can also use it then to save other resources that you think are useful for the research that you are doing. You can upload straightly directly here. You can also choose to upload to the library, for example, if you wanted to. It means that they will be part of what you see as the library, but only people who are a part of your project will then see this document as part of the library. But it might be useful for you to upload it here. Maybe at a later stage, you will then change the, um, the status of the document and you will move it um, from project number one, or pro sorry, project number two that you're working on and make it general so that everyone can see and it will save you some double uploading, for example. That would be one way to go. When you upload to the library and you tag your project with, like I just showed you with the, the project that you're a part of, it also means it will automatically show up in your project number two file, so it will save you a step. If you want to add resources to this project folder that are in the library, for example, you go to research projects and you make sure that you select this as the selection to which you want to add things, right? So we check again, it's in the bottom here, it now says smart collection project number two, and then you can go to the library, for example, search for something, whatever you want, and then you can add it to your collection simply by clicking add to collection and it will show up. You can also use this to send a message, for example, to one of your teammates. And then they will see that you said something to them. Have a look at this, for example. Now this then also works the other way around. So just as you can only see a project one item in your library, Others can see library items in your project folders, so they won't ever be able to see any documents that you tag with your project title. Um, but they will, but if you save general items to your project folder just as a, as a reference and just to, you know, um, just to have all the research that you think is relevant in one place. Other people will then be able to see only these general items when they click on your project title. 
If you don't want that to happen, you could always create a new collection and you can keep that collection private or only share it with the people in your team. So that means other people won't, they will still be able to see these items, but just as part of their library, not as part of your project, um, project folder. So that is how you can work with projects. Do let us know what projects you're a part of so we can make sure we have all the projects in here and you can start working on this as a team and prepare your research.